Go. Hello, friends. My name is David. I'm an anthropologist and a linguist, and I study the world's most endangered languages. I've always been fascinated by Siberia and how the native people who call it home have managed to survive there in one of the harshest climates on Earth. And they've not only survived, but they have thrived, creating art and music and oratory and sophisticated technologies for managing the natural environment and domesticating the reindeer. All of this Arctic art and science rests on a foundation of deep spirituality. And it is due to this worldview that they have been able to know more about their environment than scientists know, and they have been able to be good stewards and protectors of it. But recently, two threats have emerged. The first one, of course, is global warming, with the permafrost and the Arctic ice melting rapidly. And the second is human destruction of the environment through extractive gas and oil industries and the cutting down of millions of trees. And so the indigenous people of the Arctic have had to shift their ancient skill set for survival to confront these new threats. With support from the Discovery Channel and the Explorers Club, I, along with my colleague, Dr. Rosa Laptander, who herself is an indigenous Arctic person, we're going to visit the Nenets people who herd reindeer in the Russian Arctic. And we're going to be recording some of their stories and their knowledge about the environment that they choose to share with us. I invite you all to come along with me as we visit the Nenets reindeer herders. It's not an exaggeration to say that what they know may save the planet but only if we're willing to listen to them with humility and understand their worldview. I'm so grateful for the support of the Discovery Channel and the Explorers Club family, and I look forward to sharing our results with you.